Hi, my name's Alex, and for as long as I can remember, I've always loved to make stuff, take stuff apart, fix things, and improve things. About six months ago, I had an idea or a dream to share my journey of creating really neat things, fixing things or improving things, and starting a YouTube channel so I can share with the world stuff that I learn and my process about making all kinds of random stuff. Everything from wood, uh, electronics, epoxy, uh, you name it, nothing's off the table. I will say this, my one superpower when it comes to everything I do on this channel is persistence. I get an idea, I'm not going to give up on it. Which means oftentimes there's failures within the videos. And so I'm going to show you those failures and you get to learn from those failures. But again, I get an idea, I iterate within the video and I improve the design every time I make something. So if any of that sounds cool to you or you're a maker at heart, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future videos that I've got going on. Thanks. I made this beer bottle cap installation. I made this hand LED water fountain. I upcycled about 400 Hot Wheel cars into this lighted box frame. I made a secret five foot hidden drawer. I recycled an old high school gym locker into some outdoor towel storage. I built this barbecue island. It's almost inevitable, every time I begin to fall asleep at night, the last thing I typically do is think of new ideas and new things to make. And then I logically try to take what steps I'm going to do to bring that idea into reality. If you guys have any project ideas or something you'd like me to make, go ahead and put that in the comments. When I get an idea, I typically will choreograph that build project in my head as if I'm actually building it. Not all my projects are successful though. To prevent ants from getting into my cat food, I had a project where I elevated the cat food off the ground, but now the cat doesn't like to eat the cat food there, so, so just take her paw and put all the food on the ground and eat it. At the time of this recording, I don't actually have an official workshop. I use my garage or my backyard to do all my projects. So if you're wondering why there's carpet on my workshop floor, this is just my finished garage, which doubles as an office, a workout room, and of course the workshop. So moral of the story, I don't have a ton of space or a ton of fancy tools. I just have determination and persistence, which means if you have an idea, there's no reason why you can't execute, a, execute on it and learn from it as well. So in conclusion, uh, that's what my site's all about. If any of this sounds interesting, I'd love to have you join the journey. And remember, if Alex can, so can you. How do you turn this thing off? <laughs>